What is going on, everybody? Today we have Dayseeker Homesick. This is Pardon My Reaction. All right, everybody. Dayseeker Homesick. New video uh, from their last album, which is called Dark Sun. Uh, I think this is the fourth track on the album. Uh, I just found these guys a couple weeks ago uh, from one of their live performances, and it blew me away. Like, the, the singer of this band is incredibly good at singing, and the band was super tight. Uh, I, was, I was not expecting that at all. So I wanted, to, I wanted to see their first video. This is my first reaction to one of their videos. Uh, just came out, I think, this morning, actually. It's very, very new. Um, but I have not heard this song, so I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, let's get this thing rolling right away. Dayseeker homesick. Let's get this going. Meet me where the lights burn together. It's 4 a.m. and I can't sleep. You're the only so it has like an 80s vibe. Forever. Okay, before we get into the chorus, uh, super, super clean. Uh, poppy, it has a definite pop element to this material. I've only heard the one song from these guys, which I, I don't even remember. I think Neon Grave might have been the song that was live. Uh, but either way, uh, they did have like heavier elements. Like, you know, they had a little bit of a breakdown towards the bridge of that song. But the song is generally popular. Uh, it's not my go to music per se. Uh, however, um, I do have a wife and three daughters, and so it's always nice to have uh, something that I like in the repertoire of music that I can listen to in the car with them because they don't always uh, they don't always feel the music I listen to. Let's put it that way. So having like bands that are a little bit popular but that I still enjoy is important because on those road trips. Uh, I don't want to hear my six-year-old and 10-year-old complaining about uh, the music's too heavy or too loud. So this band, to me, uh, first and foremost, are, are very talented. Um, it's very good, uh, and if it's going to be pop, I'm okay with this. Uh, his voice is very, very good, and if you guys get a chance to see some of their live videos, um, this dude nails these songs, and, and I, I mean that wholeheartedly. Like This guy sings exactly what you hear right now is how he sings live, so... He's one of the one of the good singers. You know what I'm saying? He actually has a nice range, a nice tone. I'm a little surprised that they're not even bigger, but they do have millions of views on a lot of their on a lot of their songs. Um, but I really like this. I think my kids would enjoy this, and I could easily listen to this on a road trip and, and feel like I'm still getting you know some at least at least somewhat in my realm. <laughs> so let's keep this going. It's coming into the uh, chorus here, but I'll back it up one second here. Bow, there we go. He's got such nice range, I'll give him that. I mean, his range is incredible. Catch your course. Whoever 
whoever did their mix did a great job. Uh, scream sing thing going on there. It's good. That was not bad. Uh, it definitely is a popular song. There's no doubt about it. Um, at the end of the day, like I don't, I don't listen. I don't dislike pop. Um, there's certain artists that I don't like. Uh, I think the whole kind of uh, genre is not for me. Uh, but this is rock in this, in a sense. Uh, it's the lowest lowest end of rock. But regardless, I think these bands are important. Uh, because I feel like it's a good stepping stone for getting people into rock and roll that maybe, or heavy metal that's not into that already. There's just enough, like, you know, where he raises his voice up. It's not really even like a scream, but he's bringing his voice up. It's got rock tones, uh, in a situation like mine, like I said, with, uh, having young girls, uh, they're not going to just jump into Lorna Shore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to happen. They're not going to just jump into Ghost or any of these other bands, like, right away. Um, some kids do. My kids are not. They, they like pop music. There's, there's no doubt. My wife uh, likes pop, and they enjoy pop as well. So these bands, to me, are bands that I can introduce to them to get them started. And then you build it up, and, and Bring Me the Horizon is another stepping stone kind of band um, that brings in, like, those pop elements, but you still have, you know, heavier songs and stuff in, in some aspects. And then it grows from there. Uh, what I do want to say is I've always been a supporter of bands that are actually good because I feel like there's a lot of groups and a lot of artists out there that are, are not good. Uh, they're not good live. Their voices aren't as good. Um, the music's not written well. Um, so I always want to support bands that are legitimately good. And these guys, after seeing their live performances, are are very, very talented. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. They're extremely talented, and they deserve. Uh, whether you like the style or not, that's cool. But they deserve to have recognition because they actually can sing and perform the way that they sound on their album. And unfortunately, in modern times, that's not very common. So I, I always will support a band who's good, even a pop artist. If they're legit and they're good, that's why I, I went and saw Bruno Mars with my wife uh, years and years ago. And the dude blew me away. Like, he was phenomenally, his singing was great, his stage performance, his band was incredible. And I will, I always have a ton of respect for that kind of stuff because there's a lot of artists that aren't. And yet they're still famous, uh, still making a ton of money off people. And so, yeah, I want to support bands that are, are talented and deserve support. And these guys are definitely one of them. I'm excited to hear more because I feel like some of the stuff that I've heard clips of before, they had heavier elements for sure. This one did not. Uh, but Dayseeker Homesick, that was a cool song, man. As far as a chill song to listen to, something my kids might like, uh, I, I definitely put that on the playlist. I'm going to be showing my kids and see what they think of it. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, and I'm totally aware that's not for everybody, but I thought it was pretty good. Uh, if you guys like what we do, though, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. All that stuff is very, very important to us growing, uh, getting out and, you know, seeing, having people see us. And uh, we enjoy doing this. It's fun. Uh, and also we have a Patreon and a cash app. If you guys want to donate, uh, some money, 50 cents, anything helps. Um, the money we get from these shows in general goes to the artists and they deserve it, right? We're, we're reacting to their music. 
Uh, but you can support us in those uh, aspects. You can uh, request videos on our Patreon. Uh, we also put videos up that don't make it to YouTube because they get blocked. Uh, so anyways, any of that support helps. But at the end of the day, subscribing and uh, sharing and pushing that little notification bell is the most important. So Dayseeker, Homesick, I thought it was a great song. Uh, super talented band. I'm excited for more.